Hello crazy coders today we will create a quiz game using python uh, I have created a new python file and named it quizgame.py I have added some comments uh, these will be the questions I will be using uh, in my quiz game so first of all I will create two lists one for questions and one for answers uh, you can add as many questions as you want in the questions list just make sure you add the uh, answer in the answer list at this so uh, let me include the questions in the questions list and answers in the answers list Yeah, to make it a After this, I, I will create a variable named score and assign it to zero, and I will update it if the user gets it correct. Um, let me remove the uh, comments here. They are not really. Now uh, I will create a for loop with two variables uh, for question and answer. And I will use iterator a zip function. So zip function is a function that takes iteratable as an argument and it combines its contents. Uh, returns a zip object which is an iterator of tuples where all the value of passed arguments are stored in pairs. In this case, I will pass question and answer. They are both iteratable since they are list. And what it will do is it will combine its contents and return a iterator tuple. A uh, tuple will store the pairs, and the first pair will be. Uh, first question and first answer second question the second answer will be the second pair and third question third answer will be the third pair and i'm going to access those pairs using a question and answer variable so now i want to uh, ask i want to ask the user the answer so for that i will read a variable user answer and ask for the input and input message should be the question and with a question tag that's it and I want to only check uh, if the user answer user provided answer is equal to the answer the correct answer uh, and I want to lowercase both the values so that there is no logical error since user can enter any input uh, user can in input uh, the answer in any case uh, it will just check is it correct or not now yeah if it's correct i want to improve sorry i want to increment the score variable which will be done like this score plus one and i want to print correct success and if it's not I will just include it in my else statement. I will not give negative answer, but I will just let the user know that it's incorrect. Now, after this, uh, I want to print the score for that. I will be print. And I will use f string because it's easier to format in my string. Final score, oh, uh, and to uh, include the score value i will just use curly braces and inside it i will replace it variable which will be placed by its value and final score slash the number of questions so the number of questions can be accessed with the length variable sorry length function and i will pass question so and i have included it in curly braces so the value will be uh, whatever the number of questions you included in the questions list. So I want to display to the center of the 
of that terminal so i will use send a function which will take width as a parameter so it will actually print this uh, message at the 100 character from the left now my game is completed uh, let's check the output So who is the father computer? So it should not be father computer, it should be who is the father of computer. Uh, and I'll just copy the answer to the user. So yeah, when I run the program, it's who is the father of computer. So it's child package. I know the answer. I entered. Correct. And I really let's input for the wrong answer. Yeah. Correct. Who invented it's 10, but uh, according to the question, uh, according to my answer list, it should be the full name. So I will pass 10, but it will say incorrect. And the final score is one out of three. Yes, I have answered only one question correct. And as you can see, it's uh, in the center. That's it from this video. Thank you for watching, and we will catch you up in the next one.